back on land, we now continue our way along the Altiplano and then we cross a 4,300 meters high pass, finally arriving to the ancient cultural landscapes with the city that once formed the very center of the Inca Empire. This karstic sinkhole was used by the Inca as a lab. Because of the different temperatures on the upper and the lower part, they could use it uh, to uh, understand the differences in the elevation zones of the Andean mountains. Some call it the Boku of the Inca. They also did salt mining at sites which are still used today, hundreds of years later. Last day of the excursion, we are going to the most famous site of uh, South America probably. But first, we have to climb. See you later. We are here in the montane cloud forest at an altitude of about 2,800 meters. It's so green here because of the great moisture from the Amazonian lowlands which are lifted up on the east side of the Andes. So the forest here um, has the difference to the lowland Amazonian rainforest um, that it is simpler in its structure and the trees grow um, not so high and we have a lot of epiphytes growing here that can actually get the moisture out of the fog or the clouds as you call it. Um, those for instance would be bromelias and lichens um, that grow in the higher tranches of the trees. How do you feel Florian? Sweaty. <laughs> We're standing now on the Montaña Machu Picchu. It's above the famous Incan town Machu Picchu. Um, we were hiking up from Aguas Calientes. In this area there is a big batholith, so a big block of, of granite. And um, there are also some, some fault lines in this granitic body. And actually we can see quite nicely these fault lines. Montaña Machu Picchu and Huayna Picchu are uplifted blocks, whereas Machu Picchu in between forms a depression. Um, the granite is fractured. The Incans um, used these um, fractures for getting their blocks to construct their town. One speciality about this town was it was independent from the rest of the Inca reign. They um, produced their own food their own supplies. Um, the whole town had an own water supply system. Um, the Incas found um, the water source which was uh, behind the Inca town and the Montana Machu Picchu. They found the source and made a water supply system through the town. The city was mainly used for as, as a refuge for the Incan people um, as it was really hard to find in the middle of the rainforest. Uh, so the Spanish never found any trace to this town. It was rediscovered in 1911 by T.R.M. Bingham, a US um, scientist and explorer. But he was not only an explorer, he was as well a thief because he took a lot of gold to he Yale University. In the 1980s, Machu Picchu was declared World Heritage Site. Today, many thousands of people visit this place every year. 
For us, it is the end of a story of a journey through the Andean Mountains.